Hello everybody, I know I've done one of these in a while, but I decided with Theros coming out and I finally got my deck more or less done, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a deck video. Plus, I'm uh, kind of waiting for some stuff, so i got nothing better to do. Alright, we'll start it out. This is the Bug Evolve deck. I've been playing it for a little while now. But with Theros, like, there are some of the big changes that happened, mostly losing the uh, uh, Garrix and Strangergeist. And to a lesser extent, Wolfer Silverheart and some sideboard cards. But... We'll start with the new list. For experiment ones, they're the the ideal one drop because all of everything in the deck will evolve this into a two two, then do a three three, all the way up to a uh, I can get it to a four five. I can get it to a six six actually. I can get this to six six in this deck. Three death rush shamans. The work well with uh, experiment one, turn one experiment one, turn two experiment one. Turn uh, and then play this, and they all evolve because they're one twos. Also, really good for beating board stale, uh, board stalls, because you can just burn out your opponent. Triple Gyro Sage. I keep joking that these are the Tarmac of the deck, but it's kind of true. They're massive power hitters. Um, attack is a two three. Attack is a three four. They're kind of insane that way. They also generate mana, so you can do it for some of the bigger mana plays we have in the deck. Double scavenging is, uh, cards is too good. Uh, again, it evolves this, it evolves your experiment ones, and it just gets really big at the end of the game and gains you some life. It's also just a big threat. Double lot literal, these might come out here in a little bit. Um, it's the first black card that we've seen, aside from Deathrite Shaman. It is green, splash black, splash blue. So the man is a little bit iffy now that Theros is out and the uh, check lines are gone. But, um, really powerful, still a 2 1, so it evolves all your evolved guys so far. And, uh, the ability to discard, like, a dead uh, experiment one towards the end of the game, making him a little bit bigger, and he has inherent trample and regenerate, makes him a really good blocker against some of the red decks, too. Triple Dread Mangler, main damage dealer in the deck a lot of times. Just 3 mana, 3 damage most of the time, uh, almost guaranteed. Kind of hard to block as a 3 3. Um,. And then when it finally dies, you can scavenge it and give something else 3 3 for 5. Plus, you know, it has haste, it evolves your guys. Adds to devotion, which is relevant for later. Triple Witch Stalker. I'm expecting Blue Black to be, Blue Black and Esper to be really popular. Plus, a Hexproof 3 3 is, again, it's really hard to kill. For some reason, this thing's hard to kill with Considering Spirit or Murder It. This one you can't. Um, also, if they try to do anything fancy on your turn, it becomes a 4 4 and a 5 5, and that's really hard to beat. Now here's some uh, new Theros cards. Do Polar Krenos. Um, it involves everything in your deck, 4 men, 5 fives. Insanely good. Uh, and with the Gyro Sages, they generate enough mana to make your Polar Krenos as monstrous. Actually very relevant as early as turn 6 and 7. Which I'm assuming in Theros is going to be kind of the mid game instead of the late game. Because I think the format's slowing down a lot. But 4 mana 5-5, five, five, um, it's still better than Dead Bridge Goliath. I love to some people have told me Goliath is slightly better than this, but I don't agree. Uh, right now, these are Crown Ceratox. 4 mana, 4-3, four, Tramplers. Each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter has Trample. They will soon be uh, the god, the green god. And I'll show a picture of it here. So that's going to be this. Um, it's a 6-6 six, six for 4. If I have any amount of creatures in play, I probably have Devotion. Like All of them have green symbols. Uh, Paula Kranos and Witch Stalker have double green symbols. So it's pretty easy to get her online. I should be getting those within the next week or two. They're just kind of expensive at pre-release. One copy of Thoughtseize. Will be two copies of Thoughtseize. For now, it's one copy of Thoughtseize. Incredibly good. Everybody knows how good this card is, I'm assuming. If you think it's bad because you lose two life, you haven't been paying attention to Shocklands. It's just really, really good for the disruption. This deck needs to be good. For now, it's Trouble Simic Charm again. It'll be double Thought Seize, double Simic Charm. Maybe I'll work on the numbers. This card's still as good as it was last time. Protects all your guys, pumps your guys, unsummons theirs. Really good. Triple, one second. Triple Rope Decay. Um. Hold on. Sorry about that. 
Triple Rope Decay kills all the small creatures people are playing. Kills stuff like this. Kills um kills a lot of really good cards. Plus it's uncounterable, so you can get like detention fears off your guy and stuff like that against the control decks. Um, one bow. I wasn't really all keen on that card, but with the oh, I forgot the other thing about the um the god that made it really broken. The god gives all your other creatures trample. This gives all your creatures death touch, which means you now have the trample death touch combo. Uh, sorry again. Yeah, the Trample Death, trample death Touch Plus, you can buff your guys by giving yourself counters, and gaining 3 life in a race is really relevant. Very powerful card. More removal, double Futrify. Um, this card's just very good because you're able to, um, it's kind of a killer card. Now you can kill the weapons. You can kill some other stuff people are playing. Mostly it's three mana murder. Uh, a little bit easier on our mana because we are base green. One whip. This card might come out uh, maybe for a second bow. It looks really nice though because lifelink plus all of our creatures means that we never lose a race. Being able to reanimate um, something and then attack with it makes it really powerful. Targeting uh, Polycranos is the died is good. Uh, even like getting Deathrite Shalmans that have already died and then activating their effect and burning them for two at the end of the game really closes out games. And again, the lifelink makes racing this deck impossible. Triple Far and Away. Uh, another reason for the blue splash along with the Simic Charm, plus some cards in the side deck. Uh, mainly this card is to beat the uh, aura based decks and some of the all in decks that a lot of people are playing right now. But a lot of times it'll be, you know, you've got Boris Reckoner, so we'll sack a creature. On some of your attack, very rarely do I uh, actually fuse this card, but when I do, the game's probably over very soon. Two Temple of Mysteries. Um, this is actually all I want to play right now. Maybe when the deck gets a little bit, a uh, little bit more hammered out, I'll know exactly which number of colors I want to play. Maybe I'll add more of these and add more blue cards. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Temple of Mystery. If you don't, if you're not familiar with it, this is the new land from Theros. It comes and play tap when you do scry one. Uh, scrying one on land, a lot of people underrated. I think it's insanely powerful. The more tasks I've been doing this deck, I really can't wait till the next set comes out so I can get my green black ones because uh, they're just they're ridiculously good. Yes, they're going to slow the game down, but that's intentional. Right now we're playing four Golgar Gates. It's really awkward, clunky, and I wish these had scry one. I wish more that I played eight shock lands, but whatever. Something I'll have to deal with. Some of these will probably become basics at one point, but um, for now I just kind of have to. I'm kind of slamming everything I have into the deck and then thinking out what's not good, probably after next half an hour. Four of our own tombs on green black. I splash blue. I splash blue. It sums all those up. One uh, swamp, one island. Four forest basics. You know, I'll probably add some more forest. Maybe cut this island. Um, these were from when I was playing Evolving Wilds in the deck because it comboed well with the Death Rush Island. Uh, side deck. Sweet deck box. Some assassin tokens. Kind of tells you what's in the side deck. So card one of the side deck. Double Lifebane Zombie. Card's going to be really, really good next format. 3-1 Intimidate for 3. Eats a good green or white card out of their hand. Like, it's going to be really good. Put these over here. I like to keep my side deck in order. Double Dust Mantles here. Um, the ability to block flyers and beat some of the small flyers uh, is really important for this deck. So you notice nothing has reach. The bow kind of helps a little bit, but this card mostly helps a little bit more. Um, also being able to drain out an opponent and get card advantage on an opponent. Uh, it's pseudo card advantage, I guess, because, um, I guess not card advantage, but it's racing advantage. Because, yeah, they're drawing extra card, but they're also taking that damage plus four, most likely, every turn. There are some weird things where, like, you know, I could draw a runner, 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 four drop and kill myself, but, um, you know, things happen. I've died to this card before, but I've also killed a lot of people with it before, so... Uh, it doesn't really come in when I side in my more expensive cards. It's mostly in, like, control matchups. Double Vraska. Kills anything. That's the most important thing. It says 5 mana, destroy target permanent. Um, 
really, really good against control, really good against some of the big decks. Uh, I feel like it's going to be good against some big red stuff. Not being able to kill gods is kind of annoying. Um, if gods become super, super popular, I think we're going to have to start uh, citing in that 3-mana exile enchantment card that green has now, but um, we'll see. Ratchet bombs. People still sm play small cards. Tokens are going to kind of be a thing, but not as much as it used to be. These might come out. Uh, again, the side deck just kind of got cards added to it. It hasn't really been revamped. I feel like Ratchet Bomb's still going to be a powerful card, especially when I start out a lot of my one-drops and sign in some of my bigger cards and play more of a controlling role. Ratchet Bomb becomes very powerful. Double Duress. But you're playing Thoughtseize. But I want more ways to get Supreme Verdict out of your hand since I can't counter it. That's literally what these are for. They're for Supreme Verdict, they're for um, Gods, uh, they're kind of a preemptive answer to them, stuff like that. Um, and they're fine. I, I kind of wish that these were more Thoughtseize, but um, for now I'll probably play two Thoughtseize, two Duress, then maybe a third Thoughtseize if I ever get one. But I still think they're fine. You don't ever side them in against cards that you need to hit with Thoughtseize anyway. Double Demir Charm. Um, Mostly, I'm scared of Anger of the Gods, because it's really good against me, so I want to side in some kind of counter magic against it. Uh, and the ability to um, pop small creatures is pretty good. And uh, even like looking at your opponent's draws and making sure that you're not going to get hosed out by a control deck who's like top decking against you. You know, they got a few cards in their hand, and you're not sure what, um, what they're going to do with it. So, you know, you can just like, alright, let me see the top. Um, there was a creature I wanted to kill with these, and I can't remember what it was anymore. I don't remember. Uh, it's like midnight right now, so I'm trying to remember all this off the top of my head. But yeah, double Demir Charm. It's really good. Counter Sorceries. Double Regard Charm. Kills enchantment creatures. Um, I didn't realize that the gods were indestructible when I added this to my side deck. So it doesn't kill gods, but it kills all the other enchantment creatures, kills the bestow stuff people are going to try to do. Uh, Nig one's your token stuff, and it regenerates out of Supreme Verdict and other board wipes. Uh, Anger of the Gods as well. One Doom Blade. I need a 15th card, and I like to be able to kill anything. So this is like another way, you know, against like a white deck or a blue deck or something. I'll have the expensive Putrefy that I might take out for like this and some Demir Charms if they have little cards. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the deck, and here's the... Assassin tokens. And then just a sweet Simic, because I'm Simic at heart, so a sweet Simic uh, placeholder. So that's the deck. So if you like it, comment, comment, rate, and subscribe down to all the stuff and things. Um, tell me what you think Theros is going to be. You think it's going to be fast format, slow format? You think I'm a terrible magic player? I should never play this deck ever again? Leave comments. I like comments. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll probably have a, a game day update. Uh, in the first half and M update for Theros. I'm going to be trying to be a little bit more active with this new set since uh, it changed a really, really lot of what people are going to be doing. Alright, thank you. Have a good night.